In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to build your brand kit in Canva and show you some tricks on how to easily incorporate and use it in all of your designs. I've also provided you a handy checklist that will help you build out your brand across the spectrum of marketing, social, and web applications, so you don't miss a thing. Hi, welcome back to Canva Corner. I'm Matt with WBNL Coaching, and thank you so much for tuning back into our channel. So, let's get to work. Canva has been my go-to design platform for over half a decade. Now, if you're not a Canva user, you can click the link in the description below to learn more and to sign up. Just know that to build a brand kit, you must have Canva Pro. Before we jump into building your brand kit though, I'd like to talk for just a minute about branding as a whole. Branding doesn't need to be difficult. In fact, it should be a fun and creative part of your business. It's all about clarity, consistency, and communication. Here are my words of wisdom. Don't overthink it. Ultimately, everything you do should be focused on attracting prospects and turning them into clients for life. For a deeper dive on that, check out our free Agent Fundamentals and Business Planning course on WBNLCoaching.com. There is also a link for that in the description below. Now, let me show you just how easy it is to build your brand in Canva. If you already have identified your color palette, your fonts, your logo, bear with me for a second because I want to show everyone how Canva can give you a big assist with those things as well. Once you've opened your dashboard, head up to the top menu and select the drop down next to Learn. Go over to the blog and then Branding. On this page, you'll find some interesting blog posts on creating a brand and increasing your exposure. But keep scrolling all the way to the bottom for even more Canva assistance. Under resources, you'll find font combinations, where you'll find 30 different combos, the theory behind the match, and an example of them used in a marketing piece. It is brilliant. The palette generator is a great place for you to explore color combinations, or you can have Canva create a palette from a favorite photo that you might have. The logo maker is a step-by-step -step guide to creating a logo. A great place to start if you're going to do it on your own. And there's so much more. Just explore these links. I'm telling you so much information here. Now go back to the home page and mouse over to the menu on the left hand side and click on brand kit. As you can see here, I've created a few different kits already, which I frequently use in my designs and I can quickly move from one to another. To get started though, click on add brand kit. First off, It'll ask you to give your brand kit a name. For this example, I'm going to call it the Matt Emerson team. Then select Create. From here, you add your brand logos. Your color palette. And your selected fonts. Now, if you've chosen a font that's not a standard in Canva, you can just simply upload your favorite font file of choice. And that's it. That's really it. Easy peasy, right? Remember, branding is all about clarity, consistency, and communication. Everything you create and every place you're going to drive your client should have the same look and feel. As I mentioned earlier, we've created a branding checklist that you can download through the link in the description below. Use this as a guide to make sure that you have branded across your entire business. And here are some examples of what you'll find in that checklist. Your websites, blog, social media platforms and the ads you're going to use on them for Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, TikTok. If you have a YouTube channel, make sure you brand that and the thumbnails for your videos. Any email campaigns through your CRM and of course your email signature, that's an easy one to forget. And then there's everything in the print world as well. There's your business cards, open house and yard signs, of course, within your company's guidelines, uh, letterhead, if you're going to send out any sort of uh, letters uh, during a transaction, your listing and buyer presentations, if you're still using paper, thank you cards, which are a must and highly uh, advocated by WBNL Coaching, just listed and just sold flyers or cards, property flyers, document folders. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. So use that checklist so you don't miss anything. 
Now, most of the items on that list can be created in Canva. And whether you're, you're tweaking an existing template or creating something on your own, your brand kit is right there to make sure that you are consistent every time. Now, if you have any questions or want to share ideas on branding, just please leave a comment below. And don't forget to download your branding checklist and get our free mini course on the Real Estate Agent Fundamentals, where we'll cover a lot more on building a solid foundation to your business. Both of these links are also in the description below. If you like what you've heard today, make sure that you smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. I'll see you next time in the Canva Corner.